Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi. Good, teacher. Good, good, good. A little bit bored. A little bit bored? Yeah, because he's training cats and dogs. Well, that's good, actually, isn't it? <laughs> Then you prefer rain than heat? Rain. Yeah, it's better, right? Rain is better than heat. Yeah. I didn't get that. Isela? Sorry, it's raining here. I don't know if you're going to be able to listen. Where are you? Why are you why are you in La Vagancia? I just Isela by me something. Work. You didn't go to the work? Time. Yeah, and it's raining a lot, so oh, I'm going you... to it here and then I'm going to move to my house. You got trapped. You got trapped by the rain. Trapped? Yeah, you trapped. Crazy. You couldn't go home because of the rain. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, got it. Just listen then. Okay, guys, let's start. I'm going to check your attendance. Don't forget to keep, keep your full name and the camera on, please. Right now, let's turn on the cameras and let's go. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Carlos Armando Duarte. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespín. Present teacher, I'm here. Thank you. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. Thank you. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landaverde. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Reina, oh, thank you. Reina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Sabrina. Present teacher. Thank you. Please stay tonight. Ten minutes, okay? Sabrina. After the class, we stay. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto thank Romero. Teacher. Present. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. Jose Ángel Martínez Hernández and Juan Carlos Guzmán, Juan Marcos Guzmán. Juan Marcos, not yet. Okay, good, let's start. So, guys, um, what grammar? Teacher, sorry, present Ivania. Carla Ivania, thank you. Okay, um, good, guys. What grammar tense are we studying? What's the grammar tense that we are studying right now? The main, the main grammar tense. Is it simple present, simple past? Is it future? What is it? Okay. No idea. Good, let's go. So, 
as a first part of this class, let's start by reminding ourselves about models. Models, okay? Models in general are very easy, very easy, okay? Because they held the same structure. Models held the same structure. How do you build a sentence with models? Let's do it together, okay? So I'm gonna write some examples here of the structure, just, just the, the structure. So first you need what? Subject. A subject, right, as usual, and then? A model. Yes, a model, and then? A complement. Bear, bear, ah, basic uh, form. A basic form, bear, sorry. Si me convierto en zombie en lo que estamos en la clase, no se vayan a asustar, oigan, porque hoy me puse la vacuna del COVID, se me acaba de mover el brazo el solo. <laughs> <laughs> Holy mother, that hurt. Eso sí, me voy, qué raro, au. Okay, so let's see, yeah, you need the base birth, don't forget. Ya le dije a mi esposa, me firmas un documento que diga que te puedo volar la cabeza si te convertí en zombie. No me quería vacunar, but anyways. Okay, base verb. Don't forget, it's base verb. No ing, no past, nothing. Just base verb. And then the complement. Okay. So this is for a positive sentence, right? An affirmative sentence. Okay. What do I need for a negative sentence? Subject. Okay. Ouch. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Model plus not. Okay. Oh my god, be careful with the microphone. Someone. Ouch. Okay, then uh-huh. You got it. Okay, let's go with the question really quick. How do you formulate a question? Model. You start with the model. Subject. Mm -hmm. Base form. Base verb plus complement. That's right. Okay, and what else? Don't forget the question mark, right? Oh my God, guys. One of you is having problems with the microphone. Be careful, please. It's really annoying for our ears. Okay, so let's go with examples. Now, this applies for every model. And just remember, models do not accept another auxiliary. So you couldn't say, I would, don't eat. I don't know. Yeah, that doesn't apply here. So give me an example. I can study English. Come on, I can? study English. Okay, I can study English. Simple, yeah. Next. You can drive the car. Let's change the model. Okay. Mm -hmm. I Good. I, I would like to travel the world, around the world. Let's change the subject. Okay. She will like to travel, and don't forget this guy, too. She will like to, she want to, she will need to, she will have to, okay? Travel the world. I could say the world or around the world, whatever. The world, okay. Simple, great job. And one more, Miguel Angel. You, you, may, you may drive the car. Yes. Excellent. You may drive the car. Very good. That's positive. Let's go with negatives. Let's change this the uh, model. Always change this, the model. Uh, I shouldn't skip the English class. <laughs> yeah. I shouldn't skip the English class. Oh, my God. I shouldn't skip the English class. Okay. Oops. You miss. Yep. Okay, I shouldn't skip the English class. A lady, come on. 
a lady, Sandra Elizabeth, never heard you. Sandra it's Elizabeth. You couldn't visit a doctor. You couldn't visit it or visit. Visit, sorry, visit. A doctor. doctor. Yeah, yep. doctor. be careful with that. A doctor. That's a common mistake if you put the verb in another um, another time. Okay, next. Caro. Carolina. Uh, you must you mustn't smoke in the hospital. You got it. You mustn't smoke in the hospital. Is that all right? Yeah. Are you sure? We mustn't. <laughs> Is that all right? <laughs> No. No. no, no, be careful with that. Uh -huh. Okay, and last one. Let's make a question with models. Hurry up. Uh -huh. um, can you speak in English? What other models are we missing? What else are we missing? The most common might, ones. Might. We're missing might, would. Let's go with would. Okay. Would you, would you like speak? Um, by the way, so it's not speaking, it's speak English. Speak in English. You, I think you said in English. Good. Would you speak in English? Yes, I would. Okay, will you speak in English? Uh-huh. We're using we're missing might. Marian Carolina. Miriam Carolina. Question mark. Oh, thank you. Will, will you speak you, in English? Uh, will you travel to Spain? Will you travel to Spain? What other models are we missing, guys? Will? will? Oh, Will um, is a model, yeah. Will you travel to Spain? Okay. Miriam, Carolina, I want to hear you. Let's use might. Might. Uh, will you might, okay. Might, might. Might, might you, you go to, Visit my parents. Might you visit my parents? Will that be correct? Yeah. What do you think, guys? Can I say, might you visit my parents? Mm. Sure. Mm, think about it, okay? But the structure, the grammar structure is right. Okay, you got it. So might you, might it rain? Might it rain? Might no. it rain? No, no, actually. Yeah, actually that would be out of, right, out of context. Okay, so that this is the idea. Just keep the idea of the structure of models. I will send you a PDF, a PDF document, okay? So you can check this because it's very important that that PDF is really stands. So you can use it along the course in advance. You will still use models and also conditionals. So it's gonna help you. Okay. Teacher, do you have any questions with models? Uh, I have a question, teacher. Yep. Uh, have to it's a it's a model right or i'm wrong yeah you can use it as a model and it's possible to use it in a question mm -hmm. yes but you need the auxiliary ah, okay that's yeah you can use it as as 
yeah, as model itself, but in positive sentences, in negative sentences, you can do that. Uh, can you uh, show me an example in the question? I have to do exercise every morning and then you need the auxiliary. I don't have to. I don't have oh. to do exercises in the morning. So yes, it, they consider it a model. I have seen it in, in fact, on the document that I'm about to send you. Oh, I don't have it here. Wait, I'll, I'll look for it. But on the document that I'm about to send you, you have other models like auto, which is very unusual, auto. Um, you have have to as well. Must, let me think. There's a lot. Will. Shall. Shall, shall is, shall is yeah. like archaic English, let's say. Not used anymore. Shall was replaced by will. Mm -hmm. And so many others. Okay. So that's the idea. I'll send you that document in a minute. Okay. Let's move it. Hey, guys, by the way, we need to be done. We need to be done. We have to be done with um, the first part of the platform. Many of you haven't completed the, um, the platform yet, and I need to upload your scores, your grades. So please, whenever you have a minute after the class, stay doing the exercises on the platform, OK? Got it? Mm -hmm. Got it. But the last one is 1.9. One the last one. The last one. The last one exercise. The last exercise. Yeah, I told you on Friday, I think, right? Yeah. You should be done with one, up to 1.9. Yes, that oh, is yeah. correct. Yeah, I was about to show you, but yeah, you got it. 1.9 is the last one. Okay. So let's start. Um, as usual, let's brainstorm. Let's brainstorm around our starter question. We have a starter question in every class. So do you understand what is that procedure? Repeat procedure. Procedures. Okay, procedure. again, procedure. 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 What is a procedure? In Spanish, in English. No, come on, in English. <laughs> it's, um, it's follow steps. Oh, the opposite. The, uh, turn it around. Turn it around. It's to follow steps. Um, it's steps Step to follow. follow. Okay. Steps to follow. Uh huh. To. To do, is to do something. Aha, uh -huh. what other verbs can you use instead of do? Make. Um, to make, yeah, okay. To be able to, to prepare. To be able to prepare, very good. The steps you need to follow to perform an action. An action, yeah, steps to perform an action. Okay, instructions. Okay. A procedure is instructions you need to follow, steps you need to, per to follow to perform an action. Okay, simple as that, but you need to be detailed. Describe the steps in detail, right? So are procedures in a restaurant important? Do you think procedures are important? Yes, it is important. What procedures will we talk about on restaurants? Okay. What's going on? Yeah, it's, a, it's like a microphone. Someone has a, a problem with the microphone, but it's okay. Uh huh. What procedures could we talk about in a restaurant? Quality procedures. Quality procedures, Isela, yeah. Quality procedures on what? 
there's quality involved in everything. So where? Um, how to prepare recipe? Recipes. Recipes. The recipes. How to prepare the recipes? Okay. Yeah. Those are procedures. Come again, Johnny. Washing the dishes. Washing the dishes. Do you think there are procedures involved on washing dishes? Yeah. Yes, of course. Do you think they wash the dishes by hand in a restaurant? What do you think? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. In El Salvador? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, some restaurants or hotels they use a washing machine, right? A dishwasher. A dishwasher for dishes. Okay. But there are procedures to follow. I'm sure. Okay. There's Once, a cycle. There's a cycle. Very good. There's a procedure cycle to wash the dishes. For example, you wear gloves. To wear gloves, wear gloves. Mask. To wear a mask, to wear a mask. Okay, that's important. Redesia, no sé cómo se dice para el cabello. A net, a net in your head. Yeah, a net for the hair. Yes, it's true. Okay, now do you think um, is custom is a customer's experience um, in a restaurant affected by procedures? What happens if a procedure? is misfollowed, you know, is not followed correctly. Think, 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 think. What happens if dishes are not washed properly? Consumers can get us sick. They can get sick, they can complain. Uh-huh. What else could happen? Think, think, they, think. They can sue the restaurant. They could, yeah, they could sue they could the restaurant. Sue. Definitely, right? Now, have you heard, have you heard about the procedure for washing the dishes in a restaurant? Yeah, actually. Really? Alexander? For example, yeah, for example, uh, when you use a wash machine, uh, this is there is a or oh, there exists a cycle. For example, uh, you the first is dishes, then um, a libre cups, 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 and then no, cups. All right. Cup, cups, you were right, uh -huh. cups, and then um, I don't remember what is the word for uh, teaspoon or. Um, you, you, utensils, uh, utensils, is, utensils, utensils, okay, like four spoons, uh huh. At the end, and then you need to wash the washing machine and, what? and start again. Really, wow, I didn't know that. I thought it was a whole combo, you know, everything no. in its place. Wow, what I knew, what I knew because I, I taught the bartender career. Bartender career in Insaforp. I taught uh, technical English for bartenders and waiters, and they had they have such an a strict protocol to follow. They have such an a strict protocol to follow when it comes to dishes, um, spoons. You know, it has to be clear, and they use hot water, hot pressurized water it's amazing it is amazing the way they put the the cloth on the table all of these are procedures and i was in an evaluation you know some international people came to to um a center where we were working and they judge they judge the graduation of bartenders and waiters men they had they even had a metric. How do you call this thing? Oh, the one they used to measure <laughs> a measurement. Uh, I forgot the name. Oh my God. 
Well, but they were measuring, you know, the distance between the plate, the main dish, and the utensils. The distance, the distance between the dish and the and the guest. You know, you're the guest, so you sit. What's the distance between your chest and the dish? Wow, that was extreme. I mean, I was surprised. So procedures that you need to follow in a restaurant. This is very interesting. Think as a customer, think as a business owner. Let's work on this uh, question really quick so you can get some vocabulary with your classmates. Think about the different areas, the different areas in a restaurant and what procedures may they follow, okay? You only have five minutes to discuss these two questions with your classmates. Make sure you speak. Please turn on your cameras. Okay, let's do it. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Okay. Um, Here are choose uh, uh, some areas of our uh, restaurants. And what areas do you know in a restaurant? And the cook and reception. Yeah, uh, uh, the customer service uh, service in in the restaurant. Uh, first, how to speak? Uh, start by getting customer as soon as they walk in the door. I think. Uh, I think to be respectful. Uh, let me see. In a Tyler's use, should a chair, a mandom, and so, 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 some. Someone. Some. Sorry. In a restaurant, is very common a procedure Sorry. that. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, when the, the client comes uh, in in the restaurant, uh, always are is a person that uh, this person uh, receives receives you. Oh, how much is it? How, how? Receives you when they yeah, totally when they you. welcome you when they welcome ah, you. Welcome, welcome. Uh, uh, Welcome you and there the, the that person also asks to you uh, for example how many people do you do you wait for example how many people how many are we they usually say how many are you how many uh, are you uh -huh. uh, how many are you and that or is a procedure they actually they actually go like table for how many uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> table for how many? Yes. Yeah, that, true. that is a that is a procedure in a restaurant. Yeah, yeah the president another president I think uh, do don't interrupt your customer when they speak or when uh, take an an uh, order. It uh, is a procedure of customer relationship, I think. Yeah, procedure for customer relations. Mm -hmm. How? Uh, uh, how do you say? How do how do you say? Relación con los clientes, o sea, trato de clientes, tratar con los clientes. The way of deal with customers. Deal with customers. Uh, deal with customers. Uh, Mm. 
that also that is the, in a restaurant, uh, the, there are, are very procedure, for example, for yeah, example, many. For, for check out, when the customer want to check out uh, all, all the third person. <laughs> ah, they're a person. They're a person. Uh, keep an eye on that. When customer, when a customer wants to to check out, wants to check out, keep keep and, an eye. Just keep an eye on that. Don't worry, for you're doing good. And, and uh, in the place, in the place, uh, how how to uh, is is big or small? The distance between table if for important. when customers attend. Test. Uh huh. Yes. What else? Uh, what more? What else? What else? What else? Uh, what else? <laughs> It's very important um, uh, the dish, the, the menu differs. Um, the reception, the, the reception of the customer. Um, it's very important than the payment, the cost. So, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And after that, the service, uh, the the customers speak well or bad about the restaurant, or they will complain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And do you have uh, delivery, delivery of drinks or meals? Can you repeat, please? Uh, delivery of drinks or meals. Mm -hmm. Delivery of, of drinks or meals. De la bebida y comida. La entrega. La uh, uh, the sirve. Mm -hmm. the I'm going to send you something to, to the WhatsApp right now, an image. Think about the areas, the areas of the restaurant. Let's see if I can make this bigger. The food, uh, the time, the long time in the, 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 the order teacher depends on the tiempo que tarda y que le sirvan. Uh, the timing, the timing of, to serve the orders, timing to serve the orders. Yes. The waiter is not polite. It's not. Oh, that's customer service procedures. These are these are customer service procedures. Since Greece 
great the customers um, and handle about which menu uh, they which menu the customers need. What kind of menu, for example? For example, if if I if I am a customer and I'm not decided which which food which food uh, what I that I want, or if I pizza or what is which specialty or drink, uh, and the waitress can help can help the customer. They can suggest. Uh, uh huh. But what what could go wrong? What could go wrong on this procedure? What if I recommend mm -hmm. if I recommend a dish to the customer mm -hmm. and I and I didn't know that the customer is allergic to to oh. almonds oh. or nuts? Oh my god! <laughs> and I didn't tell her or him, and I didn't know that the dish had almonds. Oh my god! Can you imagine that? So think about procedures. What will be what will be the step that you're failing there? The step will be informing the ingredients of the dish. Right? Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Before starting the market. Mm -hmm. Starting the market, the niche market with uh if on adults or kids. Uh, mm -hmm. maybe. Very good. Think about it. Uh, right now we're with the procedure. So if you think maybe. about customer service, what part of customer um, service? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. When we offer the dish, when we suggest dishes to mm -hmm. customers, mm -hmm. that's the procedure. Okay. What do we do? Be specific. Be very specific. Careful with that. Ask. Don't be afraid of asking. Are you allergic to something? Oh, okay. Good. Uh, part of the procedures get to know get to know the ingredients on the dishes a waiter needs to know the ingredients Great. that's crazy okay think what kind of it's like uh, I don't like it it's salty it's um, bitter uh, so you never become you never come back to the restaurant because you feel that that the food doesn't like disgusting maybe all the parts of the restaurant and the waiter the chef is important and because if the, yeah. the, the the main the the you have to to be um the first one you know what what are you doing right because if some someone asks you for the menu and say, um, I don't know what is that kind of, of dishes, I don't know what is uh, the the main uh, course um is be called in that made the the restaurant image is to be um I don't know it's like I don't want to come back. I guess. Okay. okay. And before do you have a long schedule 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 yeah schedule 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 thank you um, oh that you schedule is a rotative rotative schedule most of the cases is uh you you have to to change the schedule because if you are in the morning, then you, for example, the breakfast uh, is going to be prepared and you feel like, um, how can I say, the same history, you change and you help to bartenders at night, for example, 15 days or one week, because, um, the the depends of the restaurant or the hotel. Uh, one of the rules it's like that you must learn all the areas, right? 
Okay. If you stay at night, you, for example, you serve uh, alcoholic beverage. In the morning, you must learn how to drink a coffee, like espresso. It's, it's like you have to <laughs> rotate the schedule. Okay, and all the people works in a restaurant, they were a multi-touch. They, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? They work? The work, the words multi-touch, multi-touch, muchas cosas. Oh, okay, they multitask, yeah, they multitask. That you're, you're giving, estás dando a entender que hacen muchas funciones, multitask, they multitask. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have to multitask. Okay, yeah, good. Keep going. Uh, okay. Um, in my experience, uh, the waiters, uh, they all, all of the time have to do a lot of things like a babysitter, uh, like uh, a bodyguard, for example, that I saw one time that the waitress uh, how can I say, get into the pool because one child uh, fall down in, inside. And they have a lot of things to do in, uh, in, uh, in, that, in the time that is uh, working, right? And they serve the pool. They are uh, like uh, a friend when they're in the bartender, for example. They must have to serve the, the beverage, but speak with the with the customer because the, the the main reason is like feel comfortable, right? Mm -hmm. uh, they feel like uh, I I like to to speak with that guy with that girl because he understand me or something like that. It's amazing the 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 thing that the people working in a hotel and restaurant do for mm -hmm. they. The, the customer to, to feel comfortable, feel kindness. Comfortable. And that is the main thing that uh, the people prefer to visit again, that that place. You had a lot of knowledge about restaurants. You worked as a <laughs> worked, waiter, right? No, I like a teller. Uh, a cashier, teller. No, how can I say is, is Yeah, a teller, a I, cashier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I work in the background, but I work uh, with a lot of waiters. Uh, I'm waiters. Like, uh, waiters. Waiters. My 2D is uh, they manage the event and happen a lot of things, funny things, yeah. amazing things that. Uh, like tips? Wow. Like tips? Uh -huh. In the cases of the, the waiters, it, it, Earn a lot of money in tips. In some a places, lot. in some places they do. Okay, yeah, yeah there's a lot to say. Let's go. Okay, great job. So let's see. I need a volunteer to answer the first question. Are procedures in a restaurant important? Are procedures in a restaurant important? What were your conclusions? Of course. Why? <laughs> because um, for me, procedures are the key of the success of the company. Are the key for success. For success. Repeat. Are the key for success of the company, the restaurant. Uh huh. Okay. Why? Are the keys for success of the company. Yeah, because if you are not able to follow step by step and you commit a mistake, um, the consumer can get a bad experience and they can or, or they could re do. Or, they could not recommend your restaurant to a restaurant to others. Okay, so that will be creating a negative um, experience in a customer. And you know what they said, a bad, uh, no, a rotten, a rotten apple 
can ruin the whole tree, right? Rooting apple can ruin the whole tree. That's true. Okay. Someone else, another opinion. Mm -hmm. I liked the examples they were thinking in, um, where is she, in Carolina's team. In Carolina's, they were talking about what happens when a waiter uh, recommends, when, when a waiter suggests to you what to eat. That is one procedure, but what happens if the waiter makes a mistake? I want you to think. What happens if, if the waiter makes a mistake? Bad experience. Bad experience. The, the customer one. get the get the customer get bad experience or talking bad about bad about the restaurant. It is important before the procedures or restaurant uh, uh, research or get a, get a service about market niche market. For about example. the niche of market, for example. Okay, but in this in this context. Is it dangerous if you, as a waiter, let's say, you recommend a dish to a customer? Can it be dangerous? Yeah, because you actually, you actually not about uh, the taste of the customer, or if the customer is allergic to That's some the kind point. of food. You, you basically, you don't know about your customers, you don't know about your customers' taste or allergies. Is it okay, guys, if I ask uh, a guest, stop saying customer, a guest, can I ask a guest, hey, are you allergic to peanuts? Are you allergic to tunas? To tuna, for example, fish? Is it okay? Mm, it's a little bit uncomfortable why because some kind of guests they don't want to express or or say about his their life let's use may they may not they may not want to talk about yeah their allergies or something hey only i only have alexander in the class where are the others Lucy Antonio, yeah, Miguel, Rene, come on, Jocelyn, you're so quiet today. Everybody, come on, give your opinion. This is a very interesting topic, and the whole point of the of the class is to speak. Okay, Juan. Hello. Uh, maybe I I don't I don't be allergic, but for example, I don't like onions, right? Mm -hmm. And. Mm. If I say to the waiter, I don't like onion, I can I can onion in my food. Uh, well, if I see onion in my food, I don't eat. I don't eat it. And I don't pay. And I won't pay. I won't eat it and I won't pay. Mm-hmm. Uh, one thing, one thing, uh, Juan, let's correct that. Maybe I'm not allergic. Okay, you said, look at the chat, look at the chat. Maybe I don't be allergic. Maybe I'm not allergic. Or you could also use models. I might not be allergic. It's a supposition, right? So I might not be allergic, but I may tell, I might tell the waiter, if you bring food with onions, um, I won't eat it. I won't eat it. And I won't, and I won't pay you. Allergy seafood, Oh, seafood. Yeah. Seafood. Yeah, I'm allergic to seafood. I'm allergic to peanuts. I'm allergic to, um, what else? Almonds, almonds. 
Pork. Pork, teacher, too. Pork. Some people is allergic to pork. Yeah. Okay, it's spicy. Spicy food. Spicy. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Coconut. What? Coconut, lactose, okay. lactose. You're intolerant to lactose. So many things, right? So you see, that procedure is critical. So another part of the procedure, a waiter must know about the food preparation, the ingredients on the dish. In that sense, right? As a waiter, you need to know the ingredients on the dish, right? It's very common. Don't you ask? Don't you ask when you go to a restaurant, hey, what's in this dish? Oh, you have beans, you have cheese, you have eggs, scrambled eggs, if you want them fried, you know, they, they are prepared with pepper. You go like, oh, no pepper, no pepper. Okay, and so on, right? Uh, way they cook, so you have, uh, the way they had to know the, the way they cook. Yes, so. the waiter need, needs to know, has to know the way they cook the dish what ingredients they use, correct. The terms of the, um, the meat terms, meat terms, you want it raw, meat term and so on. That's another topic, we will see it later. So let's continue guys. Second step, number the steps a waiter follows to take and serve an order. Now at your job, you do have procedures, right? I believe you do have procedures at your job. When you send an email, do you, yeah. have, do you have to put your name on the email or not? Okay. If you want a day off, what do you do if you want a day off in your job? You just leave? Because you have to travel. You have to? Vacations. You have to request, right, Isela? You have to request the permission. Or, yeah. Yeah. Yes, Isela. Isela is right. You have to request permission with time. One week, two weeks before. You have to inform your boss, hey, you know what? I need this day off. I have an appointment, a doctor appointment, right? If you have to schedule a day off or so on. Okay, uh, perdón, voy muy rápido. Estamos yendo muy rápido. Alguien se ha quedado, no está entendiendo el tema. All good? Good. Okay. So let's get together again and number the steps a waiter follows to take and serve an order. Think logically, logically as a waiter, what do you do first? What do you do next? Okay. If you want, let's do it together. We, we only have six minutes, so let's do this together. I want you, I want you to grab a sticker, go, go to, Go to the Zoom tools and grab a sticker. Okay. I want you. Okay. I want you to get ready. Okay. Grab a sticker, any sticker. And when I say number, number one, put the sticker on number one, you do this. Okay. On the little square, you're going to put the sticker on the little square. Got it? So what's the first step? What is the first step? Wait. Okay, let's see. Yeah, number one. Go ahead, guys. Go ahead, everybody. What is the Bring first the step? Do it with your finger. Greet the customer. <laughs> the customer. Greet the customer. Greet the customer. <laughs> number one. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Greet the customer. Island says, sit the customer. Hmm. Oh. No. <laughs> hey, hey, you got the customer. 
sit here. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. I don't think <laughs> sit the customer or greet the customer. What do you think? Come on. <laughs> Fatima, okay. Rina, okay. Greet the customer. Greet the customer. Okay. Greet the customer, teacher. Guys, it depends. It depends on two things. Greeting a customer happens at restaurants first where they have a host, where they have a host or hostess at the main door. There's a guy or a lady saying, welcome. How many are you? Welcome. Mm -hmm. Table for how many? Pizza Hut, I think they do that. Uh, La Pampa. When they are full. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Now it's different. Every restaurant do that because remember that we are in a pandemic. Supposedly we are in a yes. COVID. So the lady is always, hey, welcome. I will pay the temperature and I will give you alcohol help. So every restaurant does. Every excellent. Every restaurant does it. Okay. Um, to repeat, temperature. 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 Temp temperature. 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 You got it. They they're taking temperature. Temperature. Okay. So, and in some other places, well, in traditional way, let's say without COVID, uh, Alan is right they sit you, you know, you get your seat and they assigned a waiter. Or do you think the waiter is assigned already? Maybe he's assigned already. How? Why? <laughs> well, um, I actually... guess... What? Continue. <laughs> no, just, Jocelyn, keep going, keep going. I forgot the idea. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. I lost it. Okay, I lost it. I I'm can't excited. believe it. <laughs> 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 now, I, I catch your point, you know, mm -hmm. because this is the number the step a waiter follow to take a serve uh, an order. He's talking about waiter exactly and see in this case see the customer because yeah 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 you're kind of right yes i mean a waiter is a sign and he's the number one in saying hello good evening i'm gonna be your waiter my name is fernando my name is ricardo okay i'll be your waiter so hmm, let's say that in this example it is number one okay sitting the customer what will be step number two? Go with your stickers. Don't give me the answer. Just go with the sticker. Go with the sticker. Read the customer. Great, the customer. Johnny's like, read the customer. Ready? Okay, good. Carla. Roberto. Okay, Carolina. Juan. Yeah, guys. Yeah, definitely. That's number two. You greet the customer. Okay, very good. Okay, yes, you greet the customer. Okay, she'll be using the other thing around. Okay, so that will be number two. What's number three? Okay, take customer's order. Okay. Take customer's order. By the way, there should be an apostrophe on customers, right? Take customer's yeah. order. Take customer's order. Okay. Yeah, that's true. That's number three. Take customer's order. What will be number four? Confirm the order. Confirm the order. Yeah. Okay. Number five. Serve the food. Serve the food. Mm, yeah, handle the food correctly. Handle the food correctly. You may drop it. Be careful. 
Okay. 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 Yeah, handle the food correctly. And the last step, serve the food. Serve the food. There you go. Yeah, now this varies, this varies from restaurant to restaurant, you know, but in general terms, in general terms, this is how it works. Now, keep in mind, keep in mind that in every step, there are more procedures. There are more procedures involved on serving the food because this is etiquette. Where do you think etiquette is involved here in these steps? You know what's etiquette, mm -hmm. right? Nope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Etiqueta um, dicta um, uh, que, de qué manera servís, de qué lado del cliente servís, okay. what side you stand, right? Que servís primero. Right? That's etiquette. Right? No, the norms. The etiquette. No. Ethical, ethical norms. But in food. In food. Mm -hmm. depends the restaurant. <laughs> it depends on the restaurant. Well, actually, no. It depends on the waiter's education. It depends on the waiter education. Okay? He will the serve. Uh-huh. But it's más que todo educación. Si el, si el camarero está entrenado, va a servirte al lado derecho, no al lado izquierdo. Y se va a poner una mano atrás de la espalda mientras se sirve el plato para no tocarte. No puede tocarte el, 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 el waiter ni con su estómago, ni con su cuerpo, en tu hombro. O sea, no se puede. So, in things like that, it's very, very strict the way they should do it. Okay. Let's stop for a second and let's do the attendance one more time. Guys, please turn on your cameras. Okay. Bien, en esta clase quiero escuchar más a Miriam Carolina, a Jocelyn, a William Alexander. Um, let me see, a Carly Vania, casi no escucho, Roberto Luis tampoco, Carla Janet. Let me see, Elvin. He participates. Yeah. Sabrina se ha callado un poco últimamente. No sé por qué. René casi no lo escucho también. Let me see a Reina. Y Reina se lo saca. <laughs> Será mi idea. Será yo. Johnny Trey lo intenta también. José Antonio casi no lo escucho. Fátima. Okay. Good. So let's participate more. Let me do the attendance really quick. Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Thank you. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present. Carlos Armando Duarte. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. Present, teacher. Thank you. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Thank you. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Reina María Isabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Thank you. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. I'm here. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present. Excellent. Okay, guys. Let's keep going. And 
fíjense que ayer se quedó conmigo Alexander de Jesús y fue una experiencia bien bonita porque recordé algo que tenía rato de no hacer debido a que yo no puedo cambiar el plan de, de estudio que se estipula en este programa uh, y no puedo meterme de lleno a aplicar técnicas de enseñanza que no están cubiertas o contempladas dentro del programa de Insafor. Entonces, sin embargo, en esos 10 minutos lo pude hacer con Alexander y fue una experiencia bonita. El hecho de, de haber recordado una cosa, eh, que yo siempre se lo digo a los alumnos, a este punto, si tú ya te expresas en inglés, se los estoy diciendo en español porque muchos necesitan acá hacer esto, autocorregirse, lograr la autocorrección súper rápido. ¿Qué es eso? Yo no soy todo el tiempo contigo, ¿verdad? Salvo que sueñes conmigo, como te hablo en inglés y todo, y digas, ah, lo dijo así. Ajá, no, tampoco tú te puedes escuchar cuando hablas. Usualmente uno no se escucha. Y eso está, ahí es el problema. Ni siquiera en español nos enseñaron a escucharnos a nosotros mismos y es algo muy importante. Porque tengo la clase y les digo esto, necesito que empeces a hacer esto. Que te empeces a grabar leyendo cualquier cosa. Son ¿sí? unas cinco líneas, léelas, ¿sí? Metelas en el traductor de Google si querés. Eh, ahí en cada sesión privada les voy a ir dando ese link que cada uno de los que estuvieron les he estado dando. Porque siempre hago mis clases así. Es lo primero que hago. Atacar la pronunciación y varios puntos de un solo con un link. Después vamos con otro tipo de ejercicio en el siguiente módulo y así vamos procediendo, eh, avanzando. Entonces, ¿por qué te digo? Que es importante que te escuches. Entonces, graba algo. ¿Sí? Y tenés que tener un parámetro a seguir. Entonces, meterlo en el traductor de Google. ¿Cómo se oye? Ok. Y lo repetís. O buscas un audio que tenga la letra de lo que se dice. O escribir lo que alguien haya dicho. Y guarda ese audio. Y ya tenés un patrón a seguir. ¿Sí me explico? Entonces, le das play a las dos cosas al mismo tiempo. Y... Ay, no dije esto bien, no dije esto bien. ¿Cómo lo dijo? Uh, repetir, repetir, ok a ver otra vez, lo grabo de nuevo ah, hey, si me salió bien, ya eso te va a ayudar a avanzar en tu pronunciación, así ah, if you want ok, let's move on now in this course it's very important for you to give your own ideas, because this is technical English, so don't be afraid guys, just talk it's the important part ok, let's build vocabulary this is your task. Right now, your mission, your task is to find the meaning. So easy, okay? Use your dictionary and look for the meaning of the words below. Handle, confirm, payment, greeting, greeting, notify, notify, okay? Now, find the meaning and describe the word in English. Don't do it in Spanish. <laughs> If you were thinking, oh, let's do it in Spanish. No. Okay, what's handle? In your own words, from the dictionary, but in English. Okay? So you can write it down on your book or your notebook. Let's do this in small groups together. Make sure you work. We're 24. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Hello, Ada. Hello, Ada. Hello. Hello, Ada, Johnny, Sandra. Hello, guys. Okay. Uh, okay. Dictionary for the meaning of the word that. below. Yes. Handless. Something you use with them. Uh -huh. I guess. Handle. We must handle it put correctly. Handle. Okay, repeat handle. 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 Handle.
must handle, handle food correctly. You must handle food correctly. What's, what's the meaning of handle? Manipulate something with your hand. No. When, when you manipulate something with, with your, your hand. hands. Yeah. That's to handle something. Now, that's the action. Whoa, it's a verb. Okay. Mm, it's the action. And as a word, you know, when you use the stairs, when you use the stairs, there's a handle. There's a handle. Okay. And you need to use it, right? Oh, a cup handle? A cup handle? Mm. Okay, but that's a word. And yes, as an action, it means to, to manipulate something with your hands. Okay, keep going. Um, or here, it is important to confer customer order. Okay, uh, it will be a great a great exercise. Is if one of you opens Google Translate, okay, okay. and listens okay. to the pronunciation of the word because this word is confirm, 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 confirm. There you go. Confirm. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. Ah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Payment. 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 The action of process of paying someone or something or um, the action the can you repeat please the action the action or the action process or process or process, process, okay. or process. Mm -hmm. of paying to paying of payment of, of paying of, of, of paying, paying. Ah, okay paying someone so, someone or, or something, of something or some Thing. Mm -hmm. Or of being paid. Or of being? of being paid. Yes. Being paying. Yes. Pay. 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 P A I D. P A I D. P A I paid, okay. I yes. yes, yes. Hmm? Really? Okay. Um in this case, um we took a difference. Are in the restaurant kitchen floor plan? Okay, I told about the preparation, cooking, and the uh, good receiving a good customer service Ava. and then now you can you explain you um your opinion about this uh i forgot your name sorry uh jose right yeah okay yeah okay. Only you needed to explain uh, your opinion opinion about the different area. Can you see the picture and, and the teacher say send in WhatsApp and Wait. you see uh, <laughs> This was for the previous example. Uh, did you find the meaning of the words on your book? The words handle, confirm, payment, greeting, notify. Did you find the meanings? Mm. That's on page 17. You need to use your dictionary. 
need to use your dictionary to find the meaning of five words. Go to your book, please. If you can, okay. um, Jose Antonio, can you show the book? Yes. I am sure, teacher. I'm yeah, sure share, the share book. your book. Share the book. Thank yes. you. Yes. On page 17. On page 17. Humble, confirm, favor. Sixteen, seventeen. It's the unit two. Okay. Seventeen, seventeen. Exercise three. Building vocabulary. That's what we're doing. Hondo, confer, payment, greeting, and. So, what's the meaning of the words? For example, handle, handle. Um, sorry, Jose Antonio. Can, can you, can you like share? Money hard, right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Handle. The meaning is uh, manejar. Handle. Yeah, but not in Spanish, in English. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yes. Do you, it's to, to for um, handle. There you go. Uh huh. So you need to define, define the word handle in English. So it's, for example, manipulate, to manipulate things with your hands. To so manipulate things with your yeah. hands, for example. Okay. okay, which one is the first? It's, uh, yeah, what's, what's the definition okay. of the first one? Go to Google, find the meaning of <laughs> handle in English or a dictionary in English, of course. Okay, okay. There, uh, for me, I think the, the handle is when the, when the agent keep, keep, uh, no, keep the, the claim, no, keep, uh, keep or maintain all, all situation. Mm. Mm -hmm. Handle. Handle. Handle a situation. Yeah, you can handle a situation too, it's true. It's you can handle a situation. You can handle food. Handle food. Mm -hmm. You can handle packages. Mm -hmm. Very good. Everything that you do with your hands. Keep going. What is confirm? Think of a waiter. What is confirm? Okay, so we can try it again or, or repeat the. Okay, so the what, let me see. What's your definition of greeting? For greeting. Mm -hmm. What's your definition um, of greeting? That's something we're talking about that, it, that could be the. Yeah, we want to continue, Alexander. <laughs> or you can, if you want to go ahead. Good morning. Good night. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> It's for life. Okay, Rina, <laughs> examples. Okay, so how do you define that, Rina, in your own words? What is a greeting? Sorry, teacher, you don't. What is your propia definition? Uh huh. I didn't get ah, it. Okay. Repeat, um, repeat, Rina, Rina, Rina. Okay. repeat. I didn't get it, teacher. <laughs> Go. I didn't get uh, it, teacher. I didn't get it, teacher. <laughs> Got it. Yes, that's the way. Tiene buena pronunciación. Sí, ajá. So, su propia definición en sus palabras, ¿qué es un saludo? Es un saludo? saludo de forma educada. Es ok. Buenos días, buenas tardes. Ah, pero ahí, ahí no he dicho que, que, es, <laughs> que es un saludo. Ajá. ¿Qué es un saludo? Um, Un saludo es como una forma de entrar, entrar a un lugar. Sinónimo, sinónimo de entrar. Um, introducirse. Una forma de introducirse a. 
A un lugar, a una mm. plática. A eh, otra. A otra conversación. A otra persona. Ah, es una, perdón. <risa> es una okay. forma de introducirse a otra persona. Mm. That's it. Very good. Ok. Ahora en inglés. <risa> uh -huh. is, is a form to introduce, to introduce uh, with other person. With another person, with other people, with, with other people, okay. Okay. with another person. Okay. Good. Very good. You got it. Ves, que fácil. Very good. Okay. <laughs> what is um, handle? What is handle? If you don't remember, you can read it. Resolver. En español es resolver. English. Resolution. To resolve. Is res ah, okay. Resolve. Um, another problem. A problem. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, exercise. <laughs> okay, an so, exercise. Okay. Um, okay. What did you write, Isela? I think that that she she has the. Yes, the go ahead. Answer for what it was the what was is the it, last one? Okay. I think that handle is it like manipulate things with your hands, right? Handle. You to handle, and you can, yeah. you can handle situations as well, right? Yeah. Like manage, um, you can, you manage, can manage time or, manage or things Excellent. to do. Yes, manage, very good. You got it. Okay, let's go back, time's up. Let's practice. So I guess you found the definitions of these words. Can somebody define the next word? Smart. Can you define the word smart? Or process? It's a, it's a process. Process? That's a synonym, Yanni. Yeah. Alan. A person who is uh, quick for to solve problems. Uh... Hmm. It's a quality of a smart person, yes. A smart. Brainer. It's, I'm sorry, Alexander? It's a brainer person. A brainer person. Um... Mm, define better, define better. Kind of got it. How can you tell when someone's smart? How can you tell when someone's smart? Do you think the president's smart? Yeah. No. <laughs> Why? No, no, no. Really? No, really. Sometimes. So problem. Only in crisis. Yeah. Only in crisis. Uh, Only no, yeah. but. Let's forget about <laughs> politics. Let's forget about he being the president. As a person, as a person, is he smart? Yes, of course. Yes. 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 I mind. Why? Yeah. Because no one to manipulate no, people. He, can manipulate <laughs> he knows how to yeah. manipulate people. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's okay. What do you think, Ada? I want to li listen to the doctor. What's your diagnostic? Mm. 
my diagnostic. <laughs> yes. I'm just kidding. Is he smart? Do you think when you hear him speaking in English or Spanish? <laughs> is he yeah, good? No. Mm -hmm. Um crazy. <laughs> He's crazy, okay. Okay. I didn't want to hear that. Okay, guys. <laughs> it's your personal opinion. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> From my perspective, since I was a kid, since I was a kid, I admired people who can who can talk without stop. If you speak non-stop, whether it is Spanish or English, but you speak and you give synonyms when you speak, it's like knowledge, right? That's knowledge. Okay. Maybe you are not smart. And again, maybe you are confident. You see, maybe I'm not smart. I'm just confident. I'm just talking. Okay. Do I know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe. So I think he's smart, but because he, he can express himself in many ways. And un ejemplo claro fue la conferencia esta del Bitcoin en Twitter. No sé si alguien de ustedes se unió a la conferencia de Twitter al podcast. No. Yo tuve la suerte de ver que estaba no. en el podcast en vivo. Habían 10 mil personas. No, habían 2 mil personas conectadas cuando él se conectó. Se, se subió el volumen a 10 mil 500 personas en el podcast. Y había gente inversionista de Bitcoin. Me sorprendió y me uní. Y todo era en inglés. And I was like, wow. Y en algunos momentos no hallaba qué decir. Él se cortaba porque le hacían preguntas bien difíciles los inversionistas. A, a, a acerca de la fluctuación de la moneda que como va a influir que no sé si la banca está preparada que no sé qué que no sé cuánto y en lugar de quedarse callado él no él trataba y luchaba en inglés de vislumbrar su idea y poder darla a conocer porque tenía claro que era lo que quería pero yo decía se va a cortar se va a cortar acaba lo que tú no esperaría cuando alguien está hablando inglés y no lo sabe al 100% por ciento okay he was like uh, 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 no but that that part ponía silencio ¿sí? Yo sentía que le estaba, alguien más le estaba también ayudando, ¿no? Like, el hermano. So he was like, okay, no, but don't worry about that. We got it covered and everything. He expressed himself. So, yeah, there's a chance. Okay. Uh, I think that is the same when, when you are in a presentation or you are applying for a new job and your interview, interview is in English. I think that that even if you don't even if you don't know how to respond, it's better to continue talking instead of stop to to press to present your totally. your ideas. Yeah. Totally. As an interviewer, I'm telling you, don't stop talking. Don't Just keep quit. going. Don't yeah, don't quit. Just don't stay like Patricia. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> keep talking. Okay, that's important. Figure it out, figure it out other ways. And that's what you have done right now. I'll give you a word. Give me the, the description of the word. Adeline said, well, it's raining here, hard here. Okay, Elvin, I got it. Okay, let's continue. Next exercise. So really quick, can somebody give me your own definition of greeting? <laughs> Greeting is introduce yourself to others. Introduce yourself to Say hello to someone. Say hello to someone. Welcome. Very good. Those are examples. Yeah. Salute the customer. To salute the customer. Very good. Salute. 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 Yeah, that's a archaic English, you know. Salute. Salute. Yeah. yeah, you can use it. Thank you, thank you. Okay, give me your definition of handle. Handle. The manipulate. To manipulate. And the food, the drinks. The food, the drinks, okay. Now handle in another context as a verb. To manage. William? Uh, William? The task. 
Feel or manipulate with the hands? With your hands. You manipulate something with your hands. Boxes, food, money. Do you handle money? Can you handle money? Can you handle money? Yeah. If, you're, yeah. if your boss asks you, hey, can you handle money? Of course I can handle money. You sure? Yeah. Like okay. a tool? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Handle a tool. Handle Excel. Can you work with? Can you work with? That's a that's a synonym. To work with something, to manage something. Good job. Okay, let's keep going. Now we have a pair work in couples. Which of the following? I'm reading too much. I'm talking too much. I need someone to read for me. Let's have Fatima. Okay. Hey, Fatima. Help me, please. Okay. Which of the following or the news coming uses in service to have experience in the restaurant? Do you do a study of grocery? Could help reduce those uses? Why? Those issues, very good. Why? Okay, let's repeat. Good job, Fatima. Repeat issues. Issues, issues, issues. I think you need to repeat experienced. Experienced. Again, experienced. 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 Okay, you have experienced in a restaurant. Do you think? establishing establishing sorry establishing establishing establishing, establishing. Mm -hmm. procedure procedure a procedure a procedure you got it reduce 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 okay may help reduce these issues why okay why mm -hmm. Something that I liked is that you go talking and I love that, okay? You don't go like, let's write the answer. No, talk, 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 good job. Okay, so let's answer. Which of the following are the most common issues with service you have experienced in a restaurant? Do you think establishing a procedure could help reduce those issues? Okay, guys, think about it, be very creative and come up with your answers because I will give you a few minutes at the end then to respond, okay? For example, the waiter gets your food you did not ask for. You get the wrong food. Oh my God, you got the wrong food. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's an issue. <laughs> yeah. You got someone else's food. Okay, you got the wrong food. You got someone else's food. Is that a problem? Yes, it's an issue. It's an issue. Have you experienced it? No, not I, yet. Yeah. I have with Pizza Hut. They sent me the wrong order. It? <laughs> it was amazing because they sent a second order for free. <laughs> And I ate twice. <laughs> it was crazy. The manager was like, oh, my God, I'm sorry, Mr. Rodriguez. Let me send you a new order. <gasps> I was like, no, that's unacceptable. Oh, they will be there in 10 minutes. Don't worry. Okay. And you can keep the other one. I'm sorry. I was like, okay. <laughs> that's so nice. It was so nice. I mean, I never forget that. That happened one time. Okay. Go ahead. Has this happened to you? How can you correct this? How can you correct that you got the wrong food? If you are the owner of a restaurant, what do you do? Do you fire the waiter? No. I think that you oh. can give a feedback to the, to the waiter. You can give feedback to the waiter. What happens if the waiter that served the food didn't take the order? Someone else took the order. <laughs> Okay. Uh, 
think? What what would you do? What would I you think do? The this house place? give you this like <laughs> a discount? Yeah. I mean, yeah, but okay, that will be a solution. Okay. That will be a solution. But what procedure could solve this problem? Avoid, avoid having that problem in the future. What procedure will you correct? Think maybe, okay, you are the um, waiter number one, took the order, and then he went on break. He went on break, he's outside the restaurant. Should okay. be communication skills. Communication skills, yeah. It could be indefinitely. Okay, let's work together. Discuss what can we do, guys, in this situation. Okay, let's do it. Hello. I shared the screen. Okay. So, who so, is the who is it going to be the first? Me, so many. Ah. Who is it going to be the big team? <laughs> okay. <laughs> What can what can you do if the waiter the waiter gets you what you didn't didn't ask for? Alexander, you are the big thing. <laughs> but I okay, I didn't get it. If I have to respond on like a manager. Or I had to respond like a customer. Like a customer. Oh, well, in my case, I feel so upset, you know, because if, because the, the waiter um, committed a mistake. I know that the the waiter is a is is a human like me, but um, in my but sometimes uh, when this kind of mistake occurs, uh, you can confuse, you know, because because you can pay more or you can pay less. It's more like yeah. And also, if you don't ask for that kind of food, actually, you are not going to eat that food, actually. And you are going to ask for even for a refund or for a compensation about it. Well, in my case, in my case. <laughs> Let's use models. You may ask, you may be, you may ask for Briefly, yep. okay. okay. But what happens if the waitress, for example, propose in a kind, in a kind, good way? You, you answer like this. You will be, you will answer like this. Well, actually, I'm. I ask, I asked to. To her, uh, the reason why she is he's giving me that kind mm -hmm. of food, and mm -hmm. and ask her if uh, check his or her check her are notes, you know, twice. What about uh, another one? Okay. If you say, oh, can you give me the soda? The winter give you a, a orange, a used orange. 
but for <laughs> me in this case uh, sometimes the winter is not is no how do you say english despistado no it's um mind no absent oh, absent uh -huh. minded absent minded oh sorry can you repeat again teacher absent minded absent minded absent minded okay totally despistado absent minded absent minded okay thank you and this important in this sign is a uh, uh, paying attention or actually listening <laughs> and you Rina um, must um, will change the order and ask you to um, and um, the most probable is this. Uh, Rina, you three, fill this gas <laughs> or you fix it out? Can you fix it out, please? <laughs> <laughs> uh Rina, you feel you feel uh this cows, for example, the winter change your menu menu or change your food. What yes. is your behavior that you here's where we need to use models, Claudia? Uh what will be your behavior? What will be your behavior if the waiter changes your food? Okay. What yeah. will what will you do if what he changes you your do? food? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> what will you do, Rina? Well, I will I will change. Probably give you a discount or for free um, food. The same the. The same time. I'm also change, change food only. Only change the food. <laughs> only change the food. <laughs> For example, the teacher say the teachers say that uh, how they have uh, uh, free food. It's like a discount. Um, free food. You call that a compensation. That's a compensation. Good. Keep going, keep going. And you Yes. So what else? So what else there? Establishing a procedure to be reduced issues. Establishing a procedure to reduce issues. Yes, they can. Uh, the, it will be helpful for them. Because this is important for customer satisfaction. It is important it has for a different idea. Sorry, sorry, continue. Sorry. Continue, sorry. Oh, no problem. It is important to establish produce a schedule to avoid mistakes in the restaurant for quality and the customer and satisfaction. Okay. Okay. Yes, it's right. Okay. Yeah, the wire is not polite. I, 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 I require to the to boss. We ask for the supervisor. Change. 
change the wire for for white dress, for example, the white dress is for... more is more polite <laughs> with the, the clients. Mm. The white dress is more polite. <laughs> in, in in the in the pizza hut, the dish in the menu different from the actual dish, the way it. Yeah, in the pizza is very common. This, this cheat publicity, cheat, the the engañar, cheat, cheat. How how do you say engañar? Cheat, cheat, cheat on someone. Cheat, on cheat, someone. cheat, cheat, cheat. cheat. Do you remember the the program on TV, cheaters? Cheaters, yes. Cheater. The, uh, publicidad engañosa, how do you say publicidad engañosa? Cheating publicity, that's cheating, cheating publicity. publicity. Any restaurant do do that with the with with what's the them them dishes? Yeah, yeah. We in, 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 in the in the picture you look, you common, look, common, but but for the, me no problem. <laughs> if the food is delicious, I I eat. But <laughs> if the food is bad, if I don't the food pay, is I, delicious, I would eat it. I will eat it. You're making a supposition, so you need to use ah, okay. models. Remember, Let's try yeah. to use models. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's it very common that the, the dishes uh, in the picture looks uh, big, and when the waiter bring the food to to to, to you to the table the, huh the the food that looks uh, small very small smaller <laughs> smaller than the, the picture right okay and the dish you want to order is not available ah, it's correct it's not available it's not available 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 it's, it's available. Not, available. It's not available but available. it appears listed in the menu it is listed on the menu. Yeah, it's very common too. Very common. For example, in the pupusarias, <laughs> the, the pupusa in the picture is beautiful, is amazing. But when you. What do you do in this situation, Fatima? What would you do? <laughs> Let's use models. Yeah, you're given suppositions, you're given your own experiences right so what would you do in yeah. this situation uh -huh. yeah for, for example that this you want to order is no ability but a police list uh, a police listen in the middle i uh i call i call um i could visit another restaurant maybe and uh, never, uh, never come back. Uh, excuse me. You, I'm sorry. You will never come back. Yeah, you never come back. And this restaurant, for example, for me. I think it's very common, right? That something is not available, but it's listed on the menu. Uh, my experience, um, the that's um, normal is not normal no not normal mm -hmm. is early it is early early ever when oh it's hard it hardly ever happens yeah it That's hardly cool. repeat it hardly ever happens it's hardly ever happen okay hardly ever happens okay yeah. william fatima have this happened to you that <clears throat> the dish you want is on the menu, but when you order it, it's not available? Yeah, sometimes, but I said to the manager, why are you buying something that I don't have to do? Doesn't have. And I sometimes, um, went to the this place and go for some food in another place oh you mean that you you have the experience of 
visiting different restaurants for specific kind of food. So oh, yeah. if you want tortas mexicanas, you go to this place. If you want spaghetti or pasta, you go here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's a good thought as well. Fatima, what do you think? Mm. Let's go to the restaurant. Yeah. Again, I'm sorry. Sorry, Fatima, I didn't get it. Oh, then you say, look for another restaurant. I would look for another restaurant. I would look for another restaurant. Okay, okay. okay. Let's go. Recording in progress. We'll hear. Okay. Yes, okay, pay attention. Llega un señor a un restaurante y dice, buenas tardes, caballero. Le dice, mesero, ya sabe qué es lo que va a donar. Pues discúlpeme, pero es que soy nuevo acá y no me han dado el menú. No sé qué es lo que sirven. Ah, bueno, no se preocupe. Le dicen, en este restaurante vendemos de todas las comidas del mundo. Todas las preparaciones y formas posibles. Lo que se ordene, nosotros lo preparamos. Y si no lo podemos ordenar, lo podemos preparar. Nosotros le damos cinco mil dólares. Permítame, le dice, si no me pueden preparar lo que quiero, me van a dar cinco mil dólares. Sí, por supuesto, le dice. Lo que sea, lo que sea que te ordene, sí, le dice. Ok. Uh -huh. Cualquier cosa, le dice. Sí, cualquier cosa, ok. Tráigame una sopa de ballena azul, le dice. Y le dice al mesero inmediatamente, ah, aquí tiene una sopa de ballena azul, cuidado que está caliente, le dice. ¿Y ¿Cómo es eso posible? Le dice. Son dos mil dólares por el plato, le dice. ¿Qué le dice? No puede ser, le dice. Ok. Ah, ¿sabe qué? Le dijo, tráigame un sándwich de ballena blanca. Ay, ahí sí le voy a quedar mal, le dice. Y no tiene ballena blanca, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad que no tiene ballena blanca? No, es que se nos acabó el pan, le dice. Guau, 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 guau. Ok. Si no lo han visto, está en TikTok, son dos perros. Un pastor alemán que, que ponen a hablar. Es más el chiste. I love TikToks. I'm sorry. It's so funny. Ok. So let's see. Has that happened to you? What you want to order is on the menu, but uh, they don't have it. Yeah. How it's like only when, when I tried to, um, my weekends off, I tried to, to go to Plaza Mundo or some points to get a banana split. And when I arrived, they always say that that they don't have bananas what i don't know why they don't like you i'm sorry to tell yeah, you maybe <laughs> it happened more than one time uh -uh. they don't like you i went to pops on sunday for a banana split oh my god that was delicious yeah i committed sin epic out okay so i want to hear you guys give me your experience and we need to use models okay we only have two minutes. Oh my God, two minutes. Someone give me your example. Mm, what happened in your experience? Recently, I had an, an experience. Um, unbelievable. Like, what happened? Um, 
in a restaurant in front of the sea, they don't have cocktails of, of fish. Fish cocktail. They didn't. Right? They didn't have co fish, fish cocktail. Mm -hmm. Okay. O only, only the others. Greens. Um, Shells. Shells. <laughs> mm -hmm. But but don't they don't have fish? Unbelievable. They didn't have fish. Wow. Uh huh. Okay. Near near to the to the manager. Why why? Uh huh. I can't believe it. You couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Past, past one. Okay, they didn't have fish and you wanted to eat fish and you couldn't believe it. And it's a place where they sell seafood one. Yeah. <laughs> a seafood restaurant with no fish people. What will you do? What will you do, Fatima, uh, Jocelyn, Susana, everybody? What will you do if you go to, let me give you an example. You go to a Mexican food and they don't sell tortas. Oh, come on. <laughs> like what? Or tacos. Or tacos. They don't sell tacos. What would you do? Mm -hmm. I will use the waiter first. I will just get out of that place. I will leave the place. Leave the place. Look for another place. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Things happen. What will you do if you find a rude waiter? What you do if you find a rude waiter in the restaurant. He has the boss change the waiters for for waitress for example the, the waitress are more polite mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> racism <laughs> that's not racism <laughs> okay yeah that could be gender racism okay guys yeah Think about it. That's going to be our opening topic tomorrow. It's our opening topic tomorrow. A situation at a restaurant. Hmm. What will you do if? So let's go. Let me do the attendance. And tonight. Yes. Okay. Tonight I'm going to stay with Sabrina Mabel Latin Castro. Okay. For 10 minutes, if you may. Um, let me do the attendance. We have Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Good night. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present. Carlos Armando Duarte. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present, teacher. Good night. Fernando Good night. Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Fernando, uh, okay. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present teacher, good night. Good See night. You tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Carla Yanet, Amaya Herrera. Miguel Ángel Paz Landaverde. Present teacher and good night. Good night. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdez. Present teacher, good night. Good night. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Good night. Good night. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Sabrina Mabel Atin Castro. Present teaching. Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. 
Present. Good night. Good night. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present. Good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present. Good night. Good night. Jose Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. Jose Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Good night. Good night. Take care. Bye bye. Ok, hello Sabrina, buenas noches, ¿cómo está? Hi, I'm good teacher. Um, okay. I'm sleepy. <laughs> sleepy, a little bit sleepy. Yeah, a little. Ok, este espacio es para usted. Quiero que se asincere y me diga. Bueno, ya me gusta empezar estas sesiones con una pregunta cuando es la primera vez. ¿Qué estoy haciendo como estudiante para aprender inglés más rápido? O sea, o... Oh, Solo voy con lo de la clase y ya. Tranquilo. Ay, ah, si es la primera vez que he estudiado inglés. Eh, no, no es la primera vez. Es la primera vez que he llegado a este nivel, porque la primera vez que estudié, solo estudié nada más seis meses. Hmm. Y por cuestiones de trabajo tuve que salir. Eh, pero en este curso he durado más. Y la verdad, he aprendido más. ¿Sí? Sí, mucho, mucho. Yo, la verdad, cuando entré acá, entré de cero. Sí, yo estudiaba, porque yo estudiaba, um, eh, miraba videos en YouTube, las reglas, todo eso. Hay, hay cosas que sí me, me las sé, pero lo que a mí más me cuesta, pero lo que más me cuesta es hablarlo. Uh -huh. Y... Y o sea, sí lo entiendo, pero cuando me hablan um, despacio, cuando no van así tan rápido. Y yo uh -huh. sé que, que tiene que ser fluido, yo lo sé, pero... ¿Quién dice? Uh, lo normal diría yo, porque yo entiendo si me hablan palabra por palabra, lo entiendo. Uh -huh. pero, uh, pero ya cuando yo trato de hablarlo, sí tengo la idea, porque la tengo. Pero cuando trato de hablarlo, no, no puedo. Por eso a veces yo me quedo callado. O sea, sí los estoy entendiendo cuando están hablando. Pero yo, yo ahí sí me he quedado, ahí diserto con usted, porque yo le escuchaba al principio y dije, wow, súper bien, vamos bien. Mis primeros días han sido de evaluarles a todos y de terminar en mi mente, ah, aquí necesitamos mejorar esto. O sea, es mi trabajo, ¿no? Aquí tenemos que mejorar esto. Y luego usted ya no sigue hablando y me quedé, ¿qué pasó? Sí, o sea, como que fue la primera vez quizás que, que, que le intenté ayudar, fue como, mejor que no lo vea, le dio miedito, no sé, pero no haga eso, no se preocupe, usted ya habla súper bien, entonces hay que ir viendo qué es lo que hace falta, le comento, ayer que estuve con Alexander, Alexander habla bastante, le gusta participar, parece que hasta trabaja ya usando el inglés, Um, ¿Cree usted que Alexander todavía tendrá sus flaws, sus áreas de oportunidad? Mm. Sí, sí mm. las tiene. Entonces yo me quedé en eso. Fíjese que yo, de hecho, eh, soy así, ¿no? Eh, para mí, les he dicho dos veces ya, es un reto. Para muchos profesores dice, ah, no, hombre, si habla el grupo, qué chivo, pues, ante todo en ese programa, porque es un programa técnico. Entonces, fácilmente uno se va y solo se dedica a lo técnico y miren, desarrollamos la idea, pero hablé y ni siquiera lo presionan al estudiante muchas veces, muchos profesores, eh, solamente se dedican a dar la clase a ellos, ya, hacen el 80 de ellos, el 20 lo hacen los estudiantes y eso da lástima. No, la clase tiene que ser centrada en el estudiante, entonces, eh, es bien normal, es bien fácil hacer eso. Pero retarse uno mismo con profesor y decir, bueno, esto ya hablan, ¿será que hablan bien? Y presionarlos. Y aquí hablen, hay que encontrar, ah, caste el talón de aquí la estudio. Ahora Fernando le decía, hey, tercera persona, present simple, ok, she cuts, she works, ya, tenés que agregarla a ese. Y hey, es cierto, me dijo, porque mucho puede alguien tener confianza y soltarse y hablar. Pero a veces habla y habla y habla y no se da cuenta de lo que 
está diciendo. Y eso es bueno en cierto sentido, porque ya tiene soltura. Pero eso les decía ahora, hay que escucharse uno mismo. Le pregunto, ¿me necesita a mí para mejorar la sí. speaking? ¿Sí? sí mucho. <ríe> Sí, sí, sí necesita a alguien, pero más que, fíjese que yo he descubierto, yo aprendí yo solo, desde los siete años, no sabía que lo hablabas, a los 15 les comentaba, entonces ya después, hoy en 2016, eh, experimentando conmigo mismo y pensando que como le hice, ¿verdad? ¿por qué logré hacer eso de chiquito? O sea, una curiosidad que me entró ya de 35 años, decir, ¿qué hacía? Ah, pues fue eso, me autocriticaba, logré llegar a fijarme en qué era lo que hacía yo mismo que era lo que decía antes de hablar. Y eso, eso, eso sí fue un don realmente, gracias a Dios. Entonces, lo mismo, y se puede desarrollar, pero hay que fijarse mucho, entonces, y hay que tener un patrón. Y eso era lo que yo tenía, tenía patrones a seguir. Claro, mis patrones fueron, eh, mis modelos, perdón, fueron Frank Sinatra, Nat King Cole, música jazz que escuchaba mi tío. Eh, entonces, eso fue sembrando una semillita. En su caso, nosotros los teachers, ok, chivo, pero en lo que les decía ahora, busque la manera de lograr la autocorrección. ¿Y cómo lo hago? Pues, ah, eh, la página de internet, yo creo que ya hemos estado con usted antes, no. No hemos tenido la oportunidad de estar juntos en hacer una sesión, ¿verdad? No, no. <ríe> Vaya, es primera. primera vez. Sí, fíjese que hace años descubrí esta paginita yo. Y la ocupo bastante porque es gratis. De hecho, la acaban de actualizar hace poco. Le agregaron colorcitos y todo. Lo que le voy a enviar acá es un index, un índice eh, con 12, más de 250 audios que usted puede ocupar. No discrimine entre los audios. Ese índice le va a llevar a otro índice y ahí va a poder elegir cualquier audio. Elija uno por semana. Y es bien útil realmente porque usted puede eh, darle play al audio y usualmente son conversaciones entre dos personas. Veamos. Por ejemplo, un audio dice, hey, you're in my English class. Yes, I am. Dice el otro. Did you buy the textbook yet? Yes, it's really expensive. How much is it? The original price is over $200. Entonces yo voy escuchando esto. Lo escribo primero. Ok. En un papel. Luego le doy play a la conversación. Y si realmente siento que necesito mejorar mi um, speaking. En lugar de leer voy a. En lugar de hablar voy a leer con la boca cerrada por un día. Sin abrir la boca solo escucho. Y adapto mi vista a lo que está en el papel. Ok. Segundo día. Ya empiezo a leer, no a entonar. Leyendo, hey, you're in my English class. Dijo, English. Identificar patrones. Ok, textbook, yet, yet. Expensive, expensive. Y así voy practicando, luego en tono, ¿verdad? Lo hago igual. Este mismo proceso lo puedo hacer con canciones, ojo. El punto es que al final, cuando yo ya me siento preparado, ya tengo la confianza, me grabo con el celular. Okay. tratando de mantener el mismo pace, el mismo ritmo de la conversación, leyendo las dos partes. Y luego le doy play aquí, le doy play acá, y ya tengo dos sonidos, el mío y el, y el parámetro que estoy siguiendo. Ya llego a una autocorrección. Y decir, me equivoqué en eso. Dije bien eso, súper bien. No, me equivoqué en esto. Me estoy criticando a mí mismo y ya puedo decir, ah, entonces ya mejoré esto, chivo, y grabémoslo otra vez. Hoy sí, ya se oye perfecto. No logré. Sin traducir. No Spanish. Hasta el final vengo yo ya. Ya hice todo. Eh, se me quedó esta. ¿Qué, ¿Qué decía esta palabra? Esta no me la puedo. Ah, eso quería decir. ¿Qué? Se va a decepcionar con algunas canciones en inglés. Y hace esto. A mí me pasó cuando estaba pequeño. Escuchaba música de Tracy Chapman, por, por ejemplo. Fast Car. Una canción bien famosa que Fast se llama Car. Fast Car. Ajá, sí, y yo decía, es. qué bonito lo que dice, qué bonita la guitarra. Ya cuando la vine traducido, este, qué raro. Ah, o sea, que el papá se derogaba, era vos lo que. Y así, ¿verdad? Hay un montón de canciones. Es súper bonito trabajar de esa manera. So, that's the idea. Ok. okay. ¿Quieres un paso más allá? 
make a question to yourself. Hágase una pregunta. Ya a este punto ya vieron varios tiempos gramaticales. Le quiero ayudar, chivo. Mándeme un audio. Y esto se lo digo a varios estudiantes. Nunca lo hacen. Mándeme un audio. De no más de 30 segundos. Eso sí. Contestando <risa> la pregunta. Por ejemplo, what am I going to do next weekend? Next, gonna, next weekend. Y ahí se contesta. Se contesta. So, what am I going to do next weekend? Next weekend I'm going to go to the beach. Then I'm going to go to church with my family. And then I'm um, having an important breakfast with, ya, yeah, 30 segundos. Ok, lo manda. Yo lo escucho, le corrijo ahí. Ok, y se le grabo las palabras que necesitaba mejorar. Y aquí viene lo interesante. Usted re escucha, repite, escucha, repite. Y a lo mejor me manda nuevo el audio. Perfect. Good? Ok. Ok, teacher. You can Bye. do that whenever you want. Ok. okay? Take care. Bye, Good night. Bye, bye. Good. Thank you.